Hi team and welcome back to itlearn.com. This is Karthik. Hope you're all doing well. Thank you so much for joining back. So let's talk about what is it that we're going to do today. So primarily a lot of new live trainings. That's the first thing that I wanted to speak about and how we wanted to schedule based on uh, the availability of students and how we set ourselves quick question team while i keep moving forward is my audio and screen okay for all can all you can you all hear me okay all right great thank you so um any issues on the audio or anything let me know please so we're going to talk a lot of new live trainings team of course related with automation uh, testing to a large extent we've been doing a lot of scripting and coding as well so there are a few things there there's a good entry for us into data sciences as a field i also want to talk about uh, our overall organization Verkasa inc what we do and how each of these things fit into it i then want to talk about um, the jpac program that has been ongoing and if you're one of the jpac members what are the next steps for you what you need to look at to get going on these so team um, let me take a quick scribbling pad and i want to be able to simply draw along a few points on how we build this organization and where we are today what do we plan to do further and how we uh, can really get going there so where is my i think i lost fresh paint let me reopen it okay there we go a lot of paintings from my kids in the background they love my surface pro for the paintings i use this when i whenever i have to do anything with my hand team to write annotate and show so that's easier otherwise my i use a much larger desktop great so what is it that we wanted to talk about the organization itself and what we are doing um, so before i do that team quick couple of polls for you all i just wanted to know uh, some background of you where are you from and so on so the first question is a lot about your career and where you are in your it domain today so uh, it is representative of the fact on where you are in your career have you started in it in a qa direction or already working there uh, for plenty of years can you take a few quick seconds and answer that please thank you i'm going to end the poll in the next 10 seconds team so request everyone to please vote in Tim, can I request everyone to finish the vote so I can close it? Uh, I just got 50% of the votes so far. A few more votes, we should be there. All right, I'm going to close it now and share the results with you all. So, Tim, I didn't get all of you participating in the poll, but can you all see the results? Is it being displayed on your screen? At this time, you should be able to. So, no one is absolutely beginner to IT. Some of you, 25% are some IT, but not significant. 25% uh, of you are trained in QA, uh, but not getting the jobs. 50% of you working on QA and planning to move into automation so um, thank you so much for that poll i'm going to quickly hide this and take one more poll team before i go forward i think location pretty much i would know it's from us most of you but let me see quick poll team as to where you're based out of I'm going to close this poll team now. So almost a majority of you, 83% are for the US. Uh, 
the remaining 71, 17% are from India and South Asia. So great, thank you so much uh, for voting in on that poll. And do I have a few more polls? Yes, I do. But for now, I think I'm good. Uh, when you want to do it, okay, one second. No, I don't think any of the others are that relevant. So great. Uh, are you back to being able to see my screen now? So what is it that I'm trying to talk about team? Um, the whole uh, precise of as to where we started and where we are today is all flowing around the fact that uh, we have the organization behind the entire initiative called Workasa.com. So Varkasa Incorporation, we started ideally around 2011, but we started trainings way before. So while you'll see a lot of this content information on the web itself team, I want to share and tell you how we build this and where we are. So as I was talking about, Varkasa is our QA automation company. And we are established in Los Angeles. Now, there are three divisions that we have with Verkasa. The first is the learning division. And that's where we have itelearn.com. itelearn.com started exactly 10 years ago, I believe in the month of August in 2009. So we're coming very close to a decade into it. What we started doing team at the very beginning 10 years ago was teaching QTP and then you know Selenium came along became very popular. We grabbed Selenium and then we started adding QA and 35 other software testing related courses. Oopsie. Now all of these courses for the last 10 years, whatever we could do, we've kind of collated them together and put them into itelearn.com. So when you visit our website and you look at our online courses, here is a list of all the courses that are currently available as videos. Now, how did we make this as videos in the online courses? This has come out primarily by live training. So we focused a lot on live trainings. Oopsie. Normal pen, erase all drawings. So life has been a focus and how we went about delivering this was a very simple project based training. And focus a lot on hands on. Yes, how we went about creating frameworks was revolutionizing at that time because frameworks was still a very, very confusing topic in the late 2000s. So I'm talking 2009, 2010 timeframe. Uh, that is when there had to be really put together into some kind of a good concept. And that is what we could proudly do at itelearn.com. So overall team, we've gathered about 20,000 students worldwide who become members with us. We have close to about 250,000 followers. On our YouTube channel, you would notice uh, we've got close to uh, 50,000 subscribers right now. And this is uh, an account in YouTube, which is very primarily focused on QA and software test automation. So that's what we do, be it using Selenium Java or C Sharp, Python, robot frameworks, whatever be it. All of these tools and the scripting languages has been our focus, and that is what we've been doing for the last 10 years. Now, anyone who's unable to hear me, I think there's one question or one entrant that I got who's unable to hear me. Okay, great. Anyway, let's keep going, team. So we are there around the 49,000 mark right now, and we're really looking forward to keep growing this. Uh, we've really not got a chance to explore a lot beyond software testing team, and that is where we've decided to remain. So anything that we've been teaching has been in the software testing vertical. So YouTube, we have about 50,000 subscribers, and this is something that we are very happy about. This is uh, an achievement that we have done over a long period of time. And the great part now is almost all the old students from this 20,000 are in great positions with some of them having even seven to eight years experience in the industry. 
and I get to connect with them socially over the social networks and get to know what they're doing and how they're implementing. So it is absolutely great to be part of this industry team. So I'm glad I'm here and that is why very proud of how we can take it forward. So what's the second thing that we have in Varkasa? That is the do portion and that comes through. How do we go about doing? So learning is fine. You have learned it, but how do you do something in terms of a project or how do you do a certification so that you can add this to your resume? The whole point of doing a project or a certification is you should be able to add it to the resume and when you get to the job interview, you can talk a lot about it. And for this purpose, any audit does a fantastic job team. I will tell you the three, four advantages that we have. So when I talk about any This specific application has been built with a manual test engineer in mind. So we have built the whole platform on Selenium and Java incorporated all the frameworks into it it gives you a very simple web ui front end like just simple like any other uh, test management tool where you can write your test cases not necessarily in a programmatic manner you can create data you can create uh, sets of test data you can create sets of keywords you can create an element map or a page uh, object model and all these reusable elements come towards execution of it so just how this application works is to be able to use it as a user is a great learning team uh, we have already implemented across almost 20 to 23 customers worldwide uh, any as an application and how it's going and we look forward to a lot of projects on it so what happens for you in this case is um, when we're doing these projects through any the first thing is I don't know why I keep getting the. Okay, there we go. The first thing is called as an any certified tester and this certification comes to uh, the members primarily who are focused on how to use this application as a test engineer. They're not great at coding. Maybe they do not know how the nitty gritties of frameworks work again from a code perspective, but are great at using this tool any art and being able to implement different end project end client projects onto it. So that is the first level certification that you can achieve after a 10 hours training, a uh, couple of project implementations and a certification test itself. The second thing comes the any certified developer. Now, the difference primarily comes in the fact that the developer actually knows the hands on code behind any art. So whatever application we have built here, if you leave away the code for the web UI, the entire core engine on how the Java Selenium web driver framework works together along and how it implements this for multiple cross browsers with built in keywords, so many reusable components and how at the end of it, it generates these HTML reports and dashboards that classify and talk about defects and how these defects look in the system. It's a great looking report. It reduces the test cut team significantly. Um, one of the best implementations that we have uh, possibly seen was in two or three customers uh, end of last year and beginning of this year teams. It's phenomenal, uh, phenomenal in terms of what can be done for you in person. When you speak about these certifications, do understand that there's no uh, Selenium certification that is globally recognized. These are all third party certifications. Any is a third party software test automation tool that Verkasa has been building for the last few years and we have these two certifications as part of it. Not only do you get these certifications, but you get to do a lot of projects. Now the projects are all work from home. These are all internship and you getting up to speed projects. This could be on any yacht develop product development itself where we are launching new things or any yacht client implementations. Or other clients, so other QA related clients. So what happens? Oops, my pen. Hmm. What happens is 
uh, with the projects team there's a constant flow of it at our end there's never stop of it the only reason people tend to stop working on a project from the participant side is primarily because of the fact that uh, they've got a job which requires them to focus full time on it and totally agreeable but all the other members sit on to working on these projects and all our communications are happening on skype team so we're interacting with each other we're working on product developments the lot of skype groups so you get a chance to work on all of these things so that is the do portion so where you're interacting on the projects you're attending on them it's a constant activity team if you look at itelan.com there are a lot of live projects you can pick up any of these tools for example if you take qtp or selenium and you will notice not only are there trainings at, in the one tab So these are all the trainings that were done on QTP from a long time. This was from almost 2011. A lot of things, 70, 80% are still very relevant team. Uh, the, though the tool has grown, things like descriptive programming or object identification, all of these remain to be the same things. Um, and here are the projects. So not only do you get access to uh, all the project videos are here team, uh, the uh, what we are currently doing, but also the old projects. So you get can go back and look at the old projects and the old the whole reason that we're working on this is so that your resume starts looking brilliant because some of these projects have mobile app testing some have web services integrated with selenium automation some are purely working on catalon so there are a lot of skills and keywords that will get added to your resume that's our do portion team and that's where our tool any odd comes into play the third one and very interesting this would be team is how we want to redefine in terms of um, hello what did i do something was wrong here let me take maybe a green okay all right is the earning thing so at the end of it everyone who's attending our program is looking to take benefit on the learn platform on the do platform and then be able to make an earning on it it could be a full-time opportunity that you're looking at that is either cop to cop or direct consulting and so on you can also look at opportunities that are very very focusedly work from home as of last year and earlier this year we had many projects that we could pass out to people who were working across us india australia and even middle east and they were able to execute this projects team these work from home projects may not pay you as well but are great when you are in a gap or you just want to be able to earn that extra and get that experience um, get going all of these have been hosted on a platform called qaonair.com and if you go to workasa.com you will get links to all of these so this is a platform which is more like a freelance site so where you get to post your profile where clients get to come and search or post jobs you could apply for those projects or um, project requirements and once selected the system automatically takes care of the payment and how the consulting fees is deducted and the remaining comes back to you now all that we are planning to do in this has rolled out to become something called as a jpac now in jpac team i will tell you verbally as to what all we do or have to do and team a lot of these jpac members you're missing out on these you need to take initiative to get things going all right the first starts with a one-on-one -on -one orientation session team with either me or venkat after that orientation call we get into something called as a skill gap analysis so in the skill gap analysis we have about 120 skill sets sorry that we want to assess you against and once we know your own personal ratings we then come up with a learning map a learning road map as to what all you should start learning where you should focus we'll also come up with such 
suggesting what live projects or other projects you should work on what certifications you can pick up so these activities take anywhere between two to four months team depending on how much time each one is putting in and it's not a one-time activity every two three weeks we have to keep revisiting so the jpac members have to keep a folder with all their information resume and whatever they're doing out here so once this is done then we can start the marketing of resumes so the marketing of the resume just is not about posting in job sites team of course that's a key aspect and how we do it very smartly is something i keep training on but more importantly how you socially connect how do you make your profile visible how do you get to an interview how do you actually get through it in a very very strong manner you will see a lot of access to videos of what i've done previously team so that way some members who have joined in don't have to really wait to acquire knowledge they can quickly go along around that so job placement and certified training you will see um, here and there's a five day uh, resume half a day resume uh, preparation workshops they're all kind of out here team for you to really take a good look at i want you to be able to understand the fact that when you're joining it learn it is a membership to the entire organization very soon we're going to come up with a single sign on team what happening right now um, just to let you know what's happening with this it's taking a lot of time i guess let me take a yellow color so we want to implement single sign-on play team for example as of now for it learn you have a different login credential for any art you sign up for free it's a free tool team and you have different login credentials again for qa on air you have different login credentials but we want to put all of them together in such a way that you're able to easily navigate and migrate from one to the other and hence the membership levels that we've kept are very simple team there are three membership levels there's very simple there's a free member who's basically looking at accessing some of our free content, getting some promotions in terms of sales. Uh, they can also attend a lot of informational webinars. And sometimes we give a lot of full courses for free. So it's good to be just connected with us either on YouTube, social network or emails. Then comes the next one, which is our first one year IT Learn membership. So that gives you an access for one full year to not a single program team to all the courses that we are doing or done so far and all the new courses that we will add within the one year. So to, you can attend both, add both the live and the videos for that one year. So that's what this one year IT and membership gives. This we have not done team earlier where we could combine all these courses into one. As I kept evolving and seeing, I understood very quickly that in QA world, you don't survive with one, two tools. You need at least a dozen tools. You need to know a lot of them because each project, each job requires you to. Um, so there's a constant learning that is there for you. And if there's constant learning team at your end, such a platform will really help. The third, the third membership level team is primarily your JPAC membership. I think it's just taking a couple of additional seconds to come up. No, no, it does. <laughs> okay, I'll just use a different. This is a two-year membership team. So with the two-year JPAC membership, you are getting what you get with IT eLearn, access to all the content. You're also being able to access any odd certification for tester developer. All the live projects that we're working within the two years help in getting your resume prepared and also get into the earning model where we are guiding you through the entire cycle. So this is going to be the primary chart team, chart team as to what we're going to do any questions on this while i focus a little bit on some of this new live trainings that we're doing and how we want to go about it any questions team so one training that i'm starting maybe we'll start from tomorrow team is selenium with catalon versus um any is a good comparative tool 
and HP UFT, not HP anymore, micro focus, but UFT. So what is it that I'm trying to do here, team? Do a side-by-side -side analysis. I want to put about, you know, 25 to 30 parameters to understand each tool, their capabilities, shortfalls and how to move to the next level in automation which is basically your frameworks all right that is what we're trying to do with this two to three week program team so we are taking once you know one tool learning the other tool becomes easy so learning second automation tool is easier now by about 50 60 percent so you're not going to spend the same amount of time because the concepts are pretty predominantly the same what are the advantages team great to know in your world of qa second important keywords to add to your resume okay now one of the biggest fears each of us have is to add something to a resume that we are not very confident to speak about sometimes it could be something that we have learned 10 years back we have, but we have not used in today's world um, or you know it could be something that you've just been exposed to very briefly but not really very very minimal knowledge right you don't want to put that but after this training you will be able to strongly put that words like selenium catalon at least the fact that you've attended such a program on this so that gives you a lot of uh, value add onto your resume team and i felt this will be a great start before we get into developing automation frameworks using python and robot framework that's one and so that is one python And the second is we've recently done Selenium with Java team. So Selenium and C sharp. And then we can do Selenium with uh, Python as well. So this kind of gives you a lot of playroom team where you have uh, a lot of learning around the automation testing coming for you. All right. Where did this come from? I don't know. Okay. Uh, scripting and coding. So we want to be able to cover core Java we just did team. So you have it ready for you to watch it anytime. It's almost like Netflix series. Um, we are coming up with Python now, and then we will also be coming up with another C sharp, the latest versions. So all of these things are something that you could choose from. And do remember team, it's belonging for you under one membership. So you don't have to look at multiple programs or purchase each course. It is all under one membership. I am making a lot of progress personally team in preparing this program on data sciences. Uh, it's a vast program, but I am trying to make it very, very simplified for layman. So without any kind of a background, how do we get into understanding numbers, stats, then analyzing, presenting, all right so that is what we are kind of looking into team and you would be very surprised as to it is something we've always been doing in a simple excel level maybe but as you collate it and try and make it much more smarter using python or r programming and we talk about things like deep learning or machine learning algorithms we are giving it some kind of an uh, autonomous status where provided certain rules and parameters, it is able to take those decisions. Um, and it is able to understand data logically, put them into places. It is able to then bring up what is valid to present. Uh, and this kind of a scientific presentation of data helps dramatically um, in every aspect 
of a business and life team so you will see a lot of job openings happening here the biggest thing team is the typical experience is two to four years okay in the industry so you don't have some data scientists with about 15 20 years yes but they've come from different segments so it's a relatively new field it's still a niche area um, so learning such a thing may not be very tough to begin with or during it that's what we are trying to do but what would happen is it would add a lot of focus for you when it comes to how you work with um, how you look at numbers and how numbers become important from any organization's perspective so two to four years is typical experience and i feel qa to data science transitions is a great possibility so certain skills that we possess as qa engineers and the skills that we seek out of a data science engineer or a data scientist are similar to a certain extent we for example have a very rigorous schedule as to how we look at our entire devops process the entire life cycle so we are watchmen we are keeping an eye from requirements to the release we want to make sure that every process is going fine and for us numbers mean a lot so we talk in terms of the number of test cases the number of failed ones percentage pass the percentage this how many browser versions so a lot of numbers that we talk about we talk about how long does these tests take to run uh, we talk about effort estimations and how we come up with estimating for a uh, different amount of uh, tests to be done manually or automation so this level of understanding and how we finally collate all of this and present it in a nice dashboard uh, to the management team so that is a great career path that i really think is possible for you all so i spoke about workasa inc and for jpac team a lot of next steps typically very simple get the first see like i was talking in that image the first and foremost thing is your orientation session so where i kind of go through and understand what is happening with you we get to know each other i want to know your location priorities all those things then we kind of get into the gap analysis uh, skill gap metrics so with skill gap metrics i would get to know a little bit more about you so please team if you've not done this start doing it we have shared this to all the jpac members uh, if you have questions on this please reach back to learn at itlearn.com then we have our learn learning uh, map learning map right why did i write in hard i didn't remember so as you keep learning on then we talk about your live projects too what are the live projects and certifications that you would want to be participating in all these things team take time sometimes two weeks for some of them uh, if you're really putting in a lot of effort for some of you it'll take a lot more um, then we're talking about certifications and marketing so marketing social profiling and um, then interviews post job support uh ding 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 yeah so that's a lot of things that happen team any questions please one year membership is not there with live projects team the way i've designed this if you look at is um if someone is already in the qa industry and is having experience and they need to learn specific because the job requires or they're looking at a better a promotion then that's great the first one year it learn membership the two year jpac membership is for someone who's got a gap or is in a hurry to look at this overall do a detailed learning prepare well build up a resume get projects there so get certifications and get going those are the primary differences so your projects certifications and all that mean a lot in the two year membership not in a one year membership team
any other questions team i just got only one or two questions nothing much more any more questions so what is the plan now what is it that i want to do so team what i plan to do were these trainings where are those trainings that are listed above but there itlearn.com and join us for upcoming live webinars that's the one we're going to so there are about four time session in that we've kind of placed on this first is selenium this is an ongoing thing team that we're looking a uh, lot of us are working on selenium catalon uft any 6 30 pm this is the schedule 6 30 7 30 pm daily so i plan to start this from tomorrow so day one for cell versus cat will be on 11th july all right and day three is only for paid members that will be on the uh tuesday so we'll have 11th and 12th and then tuesday 16th july day one and 11th and 12th july at 6 30 pm pacific time all the times that i mentioned team are in this okay this is selenium versus catalon and what did i do and two now i've not seen enough number of registrants team i don't know how many will come up for the python too but i don't know how how you want to do how many of you want to learn which tools right now then there is python plus robot framework what i planned was from 7 30 to 8 30 pm but should i start it now or should i start it next week as we are going through one session then we have manual testing manual QA and test management tools. That is the 6.30 a.m. schedule. So that start date, when do we start? So I want little confirmations and communications team from your side and will be good about when we can start this. But I'm definitely getting along with Selenium plus Catalon now and Python plus robot frameworks we could because this will go on team selenium plus catalon will go all at least till end of july three weeks i think yeah so 17th i can start this 17th july at 7 30 pm pacific all right let's check this let me know so any questions team before i sign off for the day i just thought i'll give a quick orientation uh stop showing uh start <laughs> I was reading the stop sharing and I got that there. So I'm pretty excited. We need to build a lot of these. One of the big projects that is coming our way is we're implementing uh, data sciences to a large extent within NEOT itself. So um, Catalan Studio, what we will be covering will be to a certain extent, but right after this, I will have Shankar or myself do a detailed Catalan training team. We just want people to get to know that this is a popular tool in the market, Catalan complete training. And for this, uh, we've already done one or two batches team. You'll find the videos already for it. Um, complete live training after this um this one cell versus cat okay so we'll cover a lot of catalon studio here selenium id in these cases and so on that will take enough time for us any other questions team so great then that's it from my side for now i'll see you all back tomorrow at 6 30 p.m and um, we will uh, schedule trainings accordingly tomorrow is going to be day one team so i'll start working on selenium 
I would want you all to follow along with me. Do not download and be prepared with anything. Let's do a fresh start when we start around tomorrow. All right. Sure. Uh, so like Upendra, like I said, it's one membership covering everything. Uh, Catalon will then start in the first week of August. OK, when do you want to start manual testing? Sure. Um, again, see team, if I have enough participants coming in, we have the trainers ready. We just want to make sure that we have enough participants coming in. Then we can get going. All right. So we are almost ready with everything. Let's get started with one. Keep showing. Uh, if people keep joining, members keep joining, we can keep doing it. All right. Thank you, everyone. That's it from my side for today. Then take care. Bye all. Bye now.